Our presentation concerns participant-generated visual data in information literacy research in the second decade of the 21st century. It is based on a literature review and prepared by Sabina Cisek and Monika Krakowska from the Jagiellonian University in Kraków. We are going to talk about the context and goal of our research, our approach and terminology, our method, results, conclusions, and in addition, at the end of the presentation, there are references and a full list of analyzed papers. In the 21st century, uh, so-called visual research enjoys growing interest in many social sciences, including library and information science. In the last year, even a book entitled Visual Research Methods and Introduction for Library and Information Studies has been published. Also, in the information behavior area, visual approach seems to be quite popular in last years. In that context, our question was, how is it in the information literacy field? So, our main goal was to discover if and how any participant-created visual empirical data or material have been used in information literacy research published in the second decade of the 21st century. We would like to stress that our study is methods-oriented and focuses solely on using participant-created, participant-generated visual empirical data in the contemporary information literacy research. So, we are not interested here in data visualization in general. It's a different thing. We are not interested in researcher-generated visual content. We do not study visual literacy as such or using visual materials in information literacy teaching unless it was a subject of a research. In general, visual approach or visual research means focusing on creation, organization and interpretation of imagery of different kind in a research enterprise. Participant generated visual data are image-based visual empirical data or material created by the research participants and not by researchers themselves in different forms of cartoons, collage, concept or mental maps, diagrams, drawings, infographics, films, photography schemes, sculpture, timelines and more. And participant-generated visual data are related to so-called participatory approach, which is a growing trend in a contemporary social sciences and humanities. Our method was a critical literature review tending to systematic review. It's first phase was, of course, identification and selection of relevant literature, that is, the information literacy scholarly papers from years 2011-2020, papers based on gathering, analyzing or discussing participant-generated visual material, and we took into account both works reporting empirical projects and uh, the methodological ones, provided that information literacy have been the main focus, or at least one of the focuses. 
And the second phase of our method was qualitative analysis of the selected literature according to five a priori formulated aspects or research questions. We will get back to that uh, research questions in a minute. Uh, now let us explain that uh, we have formulated our aspects for qualitative analysis a priori basing on library and information science visual research publications, including already mentioned uh, book published in 2020 and our previous research. To find the relevant literature for our research, we used a library information science and technology abstracts database by EBSCO which is a comprehensive information source. And um, the following formal selection criteria, papers in English, only from peer-reviewed journals and from years, as already mentioned, 2011-2020. As for the subject aspects, it was not uh, so easy to find information literacy papers reporting research based on participant generated visual data. There are not so many such papers. Anyway, we have used a different combination of terms and expressions um, related to information literacy, related to uh, what is visual, like art, concept, map, map, cartoon, imagery, photo, pictorial, poster, picture, video, visual, etc. And related to methods, methodology, technique, etc. Finally, we got uh, more than 280 uh, results. Um, uh, from our uh, searches, but uh, after uh, reading uh, through abstracts and, if necessary, um, full text, we um, accepted only 21 relevant publications. The analysis of the selected literature, that is, these 21 papers, was qualitative and based on five aspects or five research questions, as already mentioned. Uh, the first question was um, what kinds of participant generated visual data were used in the information literacy scholarly papers published in the second decade of the 21st century? We wanted to know uh, whether researchers used um, drawings, photography, collage, sculpture, etc. The second question uh, was by what data gathering procedures, for example, the draw and write technique, photo voice, etc., these participant generated, participant created materials were elicited. In addition, we wanted to know uh, if uh, participant created visual data um, appeared in the information literacy investigation on their own, solely, or in combination with verbal data, uh, for example, from diaries or focus groups or interviews, etc. Then we were interested how the um, visual, how was the visual material analyzed, qualitatively, quantitatively, by what techniques, by what approaches, for example, thematic analysis or grounded theory approach, etc. And finally, we were interested what specific problems of information literacy were studied based, basing on user-created visual content. Therefore, we would like to present very briefly 
the most important results of our research. In our first research question, we were interested in what kinds of participant-generated visual data were used in the information literacy papers or research published between 2011 and 2020. As you see, the outcomes of our analysis are arranged alphabetically, but the most commonly used participant-generated visual data concern participant-created photos, then information horizons and drawings. Then the maps were used frequently, I mean concept maps, information sources maps, or the maps of physical space like library. Moreover, posters or screenshots taken from a virtual work game Minecraft prepared by a study participants have been noticed. Interestingly, researchers did not use cartoons, films, infographics, photo diaries, sculptures or timelines. Then we wanted to know by what data gathering procedures the participant generated visual data were elicited. Um, it should be noted that most often the data was collected using photo voice, information horizons mapping and photo elicitation. Um, drawings have been used quite frequently to obtain the data. I mean drawing exercises, drawing activities in the kindergarten, or projective drawings, or even collaborative speed drawing when the task implementation time is limited and you have to draw very quickly but not beautifully. The other techniques are ethnomapping, uh, concept mapping technique, information source horizons, um, or class assignment like poster projects. Definitely, an interesting example of method or technique of data collection was application of information word mapping and participatory photo mapping. The first one, information word mapping, is interactive drawing based interview technique. Um, it um, um, aims to elucidate critical incident around the information word of the users within the social context. And uh, this visual communication method was used to stimulate participant engagement while sharing stories. The other one, participatory photo mapping, combines photo voice, community mapping, often using GIS and community-based participatory research. Surprisingly, participant-generated visual data never appeared in information literacy investigation on their own. They were always appeared in combination with verbal data, and these verbal data came from discussion, interpretation, or talking, then interviews, not like narrative, semi-structures, face-to-face, online or video, then questioners or service, um, then information literacy form assessment tools or information literacy tests focus groups or combined group sessions, workshops with participants, or even written assignments. Also, they came together with observation, participant observation, and searching exercises. Participant-generated visual material was analyzed mainly qualitatively with some simple statistics, but of course, quantitative approach has also appeared. Our study shows that within the information literacy explorations, the following approaches and techniques appeared. Um, thematic analysis with coding, looking for common themes or content and formal analysis or even situational analysis. Researchers used mostly comparative methods, constant comparative analysis, grounded theory, uh, constructivist grounded theory, or practice theory, or even scoring or information literacy rubrics. Interestingly, they use also phenomenography, um, investigating information horizons, or Sonnenwald's metrics, this is information horizons analysis, um, researching health literacy of refugees and immigrant women in the United States. We wanted to know what specific problems of information literacy were studied basing on user-created visual content. 
we have found a plenty of very interesting issues that were investigated by researchers. Within them, for instance, there are academic information literacy with using academic libraries. Researchers investigated information literacy skills of first year health sciences students, searching skills or working with scholarly publications, making annotated bibliographies. They investigated information behavior and information literacy of the first year students in different countries or information use and information literacy of doctoral students. They also investigated uh, interprofessional information literacy education, or even the authority is constructed and contextual frame of ACRL framework for information literacy for higher education. Um, they also investigated digital literacy and multimodal practices of preschool children or information literacy and learning in everyday spaces or information literacy practices of English speakers who are learning a language abroad or even information literacy practices in everyday life in relation to using contraceptive by young women. They uh, investigated information literacy of refugees, for instance, they analyzed habitual and adaptive information literacy practices and information needs of Syrian refugees in Scotland, or health literacy of refugee and immigrant women in the United States. Uh, they also investigated information needs and information literacy practices of refugee youth. Um, and what are the other specific problems of information literacy that were studied based on user-created visual content? For instance, researchers has the methodological reflection on visual research in the information literacy area. We have found three methodological papers concerning photo voice as a research method, considerations, advantages and limitations of use this photo voice uh, method, um, there were paper concerning uh, synergies between ground set theory, information literacy and visual research and um, also visual research method based on participant created photos in the information literacy practices and practices research. They analyzed relationship between mitigating risk in new situation and information literacy practices or uh, relationship between information horizon mapping and assessment tools, measures of health and information literacies. Um, they also um, analyze users' mental images or pictures of various information literacy aspects and concepts. What about the conclusions? We noticed that the potential of participant generated visual data is not fully realized by the information literacy researchers. What prevails in information literacy investigations is the use of verbal data coming from focus groups, interviews, questionnaires, surveys, or tests. Nevertheless, some visual data gathering techniques appeared, including concept and information horizon mapping, drawings, photo elicitation, photo voice, or students' posters. It is worth noting that participatory visual methods favor the participant's own view over the researcher presumptions, what is specific to the qualitative paradigm and vital in understanding the information literacy problems. It should be inspiring and is really important for future information literacy research. What has Alison Hicks noticed in her methodological paper concerning grounded theory and visual research methods in information literacy research is that the exclusion of participatory approaches to the data collection, such as visual methods, presents issues because it restricts analysis to outsider rather than the harder to access EMIC or insider viewpoints that are revealed through the adoption of a participant-centered approach. And we would like to thank you for the attention.